David, the order of meeting and presenting of all this diet. The honor. Serving you, Midata Silut, your Kukma, your wisdom, your Neimut, your sweetness, I don't have to remember every hearing you say anything. Thank you, everybody. everybody. Don't remember that. That's 40 years or nearly 40 years. It was my honor, my character, and my pleasure to encounter such a holy Shaman's rules. What it may be that we're referring to you, when I was 17 years old. Coming to you, Shalai, for the first time from the Sarati family, beautiful family. David, you opened our world up to the world of Torah. Not only did you teach me Torah, you told me about everything that's important, all Jewish values and ideals. Told me about the Fashibutash in Yerushalayim. I came back to Yerushalayim in 18, 19, and 20 because you were in Yerushalayim. You were the full mom. Still my full mom. You told me that she and her son, she and her son, they were like a little part of the world. You told me, Ech of Dim and a little part of the world. To open up my eyes, to leave a world of Kashmir and come to you, Shalai. You were the magnet, you were the force, you were the Torah. You introduced me to so many different people to learn from, so many. I brought in because of you. I learned Torah because of you. I mean, New Jerusalem because of you. Because you gave me that start. You were there for me. More even than me. You opened my eyes. You opened my soul. You gave me happiness. 17 years old. Three years. Like I'm married. You were my, on my right side, on my left side. You woke me up to Shahari. You learned me Mishmar all night. I'll tell you something. You know, what will it be? You can't 
Why do I say Ke'av? Why? You don't always find me with you. Why do you guess me? From 17 to 21, you share my needs. In different ways, in very important ways, for a buffer living alone in the life. And a very constant contribution to what I needed from a Gashmi standpoint, from a material standpoint. I was confident, happy. Would even you be Kaabli? Forget that they can have your Talmud. But also Kibbeh. I had that relationship. I had that loving relationship. You were Mishpaha, you were family. I felt it in every part of my body. That you were family. You know what's interesting? Not just me who's making that statement. I can speak on behalf of my brother, Rabbi Louis, who's a worship shiva today. You give him the thought, Rabbi David Sunuya. He's a rabbi, big nisser, Rabbi Joey Tao, Rabbi Kila, Maggie Chu. Of course, our dear friend Jimmy, when he said, May I hate the Tahabuda? You all are ready. You all are ready. You're the man that made it happen. You transformed us. You taught us. You were Pali Diamond. It was called Maha Kuma. We used to speak about the Vayim Shaw, meeting the Rumbosh to Olam. Oh, deep conversations. And every conversation for the past 40 years, not only did I enjoy, but you helped me broaden. Then as then we met a stop that report that brings to that. It takes 40 years to learn of your greatness, of your depth, of your wisdom, your integrity, your honesty, your goodness, your kindness, your sweetness. David, I love you dearly, and I love you dearly. Every stage of my life, we, we stayed together. When I got married, you flew to my wedding. My first child, my eldest son. When I called from the hospital in Mr. Lada, the first phone call was to you, David. First people. And success that I had. You were the poet. You were the uncle. And every achievement in Torah. Any achievement, you're the stuff. You're actually the source. You're the foundation. And I've done this, you know, very unique person. <laughs> so unique. Amazed by your wisdom, amazed by who you are, your happiness. Friendship. I held you as my closest friend. Why did any of all my dilemmas, we discussed it. The only kind of human was the right thing to do. One man, David, you were one man. Believe it in me, I have to my close friend. It was my Zehut. Right. 
Why is this name Reno? Why is this name Reno? So today, he goes to Sar Gadol B. Israel. And the uh, Lord Sar Gadol Napal B. Israel. David Israel is your name. David Israel. You were a Melech, David. You were a Melech. A Melech in Israel. David Melech Israel. Melech be of your. As the Yofi shall Adam. As the Yofi. Thank you. Thank you, Sunni. I'm sure it's your small cow. Thank you, students. I'm sure. Thank you, people who came to the carpet. With your influence and your beauty and your yofi and your malchut and your royalty and your noble ways influenced everyone that came to contact with you. It didn't take long to understand. The power and the diamond that was standing in front of me. Now I'm telling my own. I'm a nephew. I'm a nephew. You didn't know she, or even in being Kaabli. I miss you terribly. Seems like everyone here today humbly got in this belief. David was uh, our family for so many years. Uh, don't give up that. Yeah, for every morning, I'll get you. There's a bunch of people there that just need spoken. But this was all I do. Um, almost every Shabbat to my house, so many years ago. Uh, smiling for uh, barbecue. And then, as today, left suddenly, mysteriously, without saying a word, without giving us a chance to say goodbye. Always. About six, seven weeks ago, I took David on a seal to the radio and we uh, walked around as I was telling him about the radio, talking to him about this magnificent tomb that he put for himself. And he would express his admiration for her. I wouldn't want to lecture his tomb when he died. They enjoy its pleasure. Some remember we we went to London together for a business trip. Got to Israel. And uh, we decided to take these roads. We had a choice. We could buy regular tickets, which are yeah, yeah, first class tickets, which were 30 minutes. I said, 15 minute trip, let's take the cheap tickets out there. And then they was not happening. We got splurged, we're going to get the first class tickets. So, all the first class tickets. Dave and I got the train spread out. They beat up 
I get the snapshot that I am so comfortable. It is 15 minute trip. About 13 minutes into that trip, the conductor came out and asked to see our tickets. But he said, This is a stern look. He says, What are you doing sitting here? He said, David, which day is this bus? He says, We bought this bus tickets. So the conductor goes, I know, it's a second class. <laughs> David would the look on his face, he was shocked. We rushed to first class and spread out for one minute. <laughs> David, you should travel now, first class. May your, may your Shema have an outbreak. Ian and I are of number support coordinating for the So we look at a repetition. David and I went about 39 years ago, which is uh, part of my family and sisters that was closer than I know most of And uh, every Friday night, I would have my cut in those days, was known as Becky. As he said, he used to have every Friday night with the boys um, in my parents' apartment. All the food was provided by David from the Bingo Hotel. And every Friday night, we would come to the big cut. And the chainsaws and, and all the food, and all the boys would sit around the table and struggle for the birth. And this loving and caring finds a person, and David is for all the boys. To continue Friday night dinner at my house, many years, Ginger said, you had so much patience with our girl, very often, much more patience than we had. We'll miss. And you knock on our front door, we open the door to let you in, and there's no one there. And you have to look down the corridor, and there you are on the left. Not too long, this is good to knock and stay at the door. We'll miss the Jamie's for every correct answer, or actually for any answer at all that anyone gave to any of your Tasha Tasha for our questions. And Mayana, who couldn't come here tonight, she's in the army, she went through the show then. We didn't have jelly beans, but she bought some my tonight. Miss Luffy and Carey, the finds of person David, and our girls for all your girls too. And as Ian says, every year once more for the past 39 years, except the last year during Corona, we barbecues with you. And Miss Luffy and Carey, the finds of person David, then we are for your family. And as Ian says, you always like to skip out early, quietly, no goodbyes, just disappear. It was a shift that you did every single time and every year for 39 years at the Yomatsuma Barbecue. And this is exactly how you left us today. And we will miss you so very much. Here is my first to rub us on my side. Just a few weeks ago, as we received a week of you were my father, I think my father. I was telling my aunt how I wish you go back in time with me. First, I understand what the major part of looking out child. Some secret that you were more than just a very close friend of my father. You were brother to him and uncle to us. I have such vivid memories of Shabbat when we were children. Every second week or so, on Friday afternoon, we would ride in a taxi all the for Shabbat. We would ride clean clothes for the next day on a hand. I would jump up together in Uncle Dave, and he would always respond, Hello, Rui Shabbat. He would call speech by our full name. He'd say, Daniele Lach, Rui Shabbat. But Tanya said, Suffer you all, give me none, and he lies on you. Desperately, he makes it here with us. 
he would say is if every syllable counts, giving us your full attention, making us feel like we're on the You have your spot on the table and on the couch, and you would always say it's a pregnant enough asking us questions. You were so close to my father. To your very last days, you would meet up for what, your, for what my father calls feeding. Having a cup of coffee, days in Mac, maybe doing some straightening of some cake, and repeating the same conversation. <laughs> I always felt so happy to know that you were out there, and my father was telling you all about our lives, and knowing that you were shedding purpose no matter what we were doing, you had real belief in us and in everyone. Thank you so much. There's so many beautiful memories. And thank you for being such a wonderful uncle and such an amazing friend and brother to my father. And I wish you all the best. Proof. What a very good proof. That's not common when my family is over here, but then we came back to Israel. He was such a natural part of. The family, what a privilege it was in the last year or so. Friday nights together with Robert. I think that's when I really started to appreciate how much of the family he was. I think I'm one of many children of each. They just passed away on the 45th day of nowhere. Which corresponds to the way to acquire Toma and kind of made up an atlas of they was a master of directing the conversation at Shabbat table to what he loved most to put down his sneakers over. He just talked and talked and talked. Uh, and like most people who talk and talk and talk, you didn't hear uh, auditory things about others. And the more he talked, the more he would bring down the barriers. Age made no difference. Everybody loved him at the age of one and beyond. So many families you're a part of. We're going to miss you. The priorities, the way you talked, just how you talk about our family, how you talk about the days that I caught them. As if it was yesterday. The watch the total talk was so clear to everyone the things that he prioritized the most, the things he loved.
that was massive. I mean, everyone who we talk to feels so good. Just after a couple of minutes, when he uh, was part of their family, whether it was the first time they met. That's one of the many children. That's the one before that. wasn't in French. Much as a child should be. Most of the children came to me and complained. I'm supposed to be trying to speak to you. I grew this way to do it. journey when you brought the Khan and with it you wrote at my own Khan today the Khan just told me I wanted the Kuban Shim Shalom the Kuban Shim Shalom the Kuban Shim Shalom the Kuban Shim Shalom by a Kevin in your lifetime the Zechus Ami Shalom the only concern was some of that. See you soon. Bye, you to summer. Bye, you to In your files, there's a kids up from. I'm going to study again. I'll be talking about Shishi. Third time in Pitachon. We nearly stole my arm of Kova or Ava. Gabelo Isha, who convinced the Kabirin. Somebody is alone. You never complained, Dave. You never complained. You never pressed. If you were, you didn't show it. You were Mahasik and everybody else. Tiny, 
يختم زادي بزاني زاني طيلي زاني يديس بيش لا يصير بلوست يديس ميا يمشي لا يسكس كيف آخر يا زمان بيش فخين ممكن يكون يكلم يفوت على هاس زمان بيش فخين I never understood it from my pay grade. He probably did understand it, but when we learned together, memory was so used to call couple. Yes, patience, everybody. I'm just not a shop. I'm not sure it's not much of a symptom. But it's also the call colleagues and she she. Send me a message from I sent you the message from Rabbi Dari, the Chari of the Bracha. And Rabbi Dari was Mr. Send me a message to send to his family short to point. He may talk to my Yami Mabit on the Flag until I send you the Chama. I have Shalach to the Chama. Probably the divine, you know, your mother. And you had so much Nechama, but Ravadari in 50 seconds just said, Ki ishi mo, asher imotu nachamenu, kena nochi o nachem chemu, kiyushalayim tzilu chamu. And the Kesha, the Nima, the new Nima, that you were still Nechabed, who is waiting, the mother, Brother Dari, you wrote, I had some cell I had put her because it was higher, she got in our heads, the gifts started there. When I got to Israel in 1977, the key penalty was home, I love her because she got to the very great, who we asked the Meshach, she didn't have a boat. I am a colleague, Sal, Pitch for Nava, and Racha. They made up to the company and Shiva, Mazu Shida, Mazu Sniu, Mazik, Niu, and I went to Sabaya. The city that should have been Fila, Bishwa, and Shona, but he's a head colleague. Colony Gunim, the company to Fila, Pitch for Hot. We got the Amoka, but Fila. They got an Ishma, no Ivan, we think, look at the boat. ‫חשבנו יום ירושלים, ‫בשבוע ביחד, ‫הזכרת שוב פעם, ‫הסוסיאטה של ירושלים, ‫שלא הבנו. ‫סתום יש מישהו פה שכן יודע ‫מה זה סוסיאטה של ירושלים, ‫אבל יש, אם יש למעלה סוסיאטה, ‫הוא עובר ירושלים של מעלה, ‫זה רק עד להבין. ‫ירושלים היא עיר שחוט אולי אף טוב, ‫אי אפשר לסרק כל ישראל חברים. ‫כל ישראל חברים. ‫ויחן שם ישראל נגד ההר, ‫היית איש של ויחן. ‫ואם יש משהו, משהו קצר, ‫אבל כל כך גדול, ‫שאנחנו יכולים לקחת מפה, ‫היית איש שלום, איש של כולם. ‫אז ‫היה לו עין טובה, ‫הוא ראה את התחום של כולם. ‫וכך נזכר, ‫עוד צעד, עוד בינה על גבי לבינה, ‫הגענו לירושלים. ‫כאשר, כאשר עוד רגע נצחים, ‫ידידינו, וגם אני מבקש סליחה, ‫אני לא נהגו אליך, ‫כבוד הראוי, ‫כי היית כל כך צנוע ושקט. 
Plus, this Friday night, you did the dishes as you always do. The dishes that were somebody else's, and what's why you doing the dishes? I don't know. Gave you one last gift as you left. It was Australian. Australian gift the message, the boomerang, the last note. Your giving was so special and so deep that people didn't feel that you were giving to them. They felt they were giving to you. Such a special thing. Incredible, incredible. Today, Santa Bonisiot, come on. The last five years, almost every single day, as was mentioned, a lot of this is going to be a repeat, but how can I not say goodbye? Every day we live together. You know, the whole system, 5.30 in the morning, shower somewhere before or after, tea, catch up. Maybe you always like a good catch up. It actually met his match in me. He loved to talk. But I love to talk more. And Dave, being a seasoned listener, he listened to all of my stories, all of my trials, all of my tribulations, all of my wacky ideas. Is David coming? Every every Friday, is David coming? The little kids waiting to hear him come through the door, always with his very strategic gifts. That was the weekly refrain in our house for the last several years. And I realized it wasn't something special, unique to me. As you heard all the other speakers tonight, this is something that they did. Such a refined individual, dignified in every way, humble. My best and most consistent confidant, my chief encourager, encourager of my entire family. I can't imagine what my day will look like without my daily learning, without my daily catch up with you. There's always that little few minutes when I had to leave and you still had a few minutes to your daffy on me. And you still walk me halfway home. Sometimes you walk me all the way home, down a big hill. Somebody walk me down this big hill. Oh, it's nice. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. Have some time. You were my family. We even broke through all of your hesitations about Corona, crying you out of your house because you are a favorite guest throughout the last few years. Every young to this Seder night, we got lucky. It's actually an interesting story. Johnny and I were having a bit of a thing. I don't remember what, you never remember what it was about, but something. And they told me he's going to someone's house for Seder. Some of these managers, some of the other managers' apartments, but here today, so I don't remember your name. And then last minute, they had to cancel. And they popped by just to say hello, to drop something off. And we're schmoozing. And then we had another guest there and said, Hey, where are you? The Seder. He's like, Well, actually, I don't have any place to go. And right away, Shadi and I flew into our persuasive characters. And we convinced him to come to our house for Seder night. He said, I'll come, but I'm going to leave after a few minutes. I'll leave after, like, you know, in the middle of my year. I'll wait for the kids to say my time. I'm not going to stay for your Seder. He knows how much I like to go on and on. 
He stayed the whole time, thank God. Almost every Shabbos the last year, he was at our house for Kiddush. He learned afterwards. You were never in a position. You only added to our family. You washed our dishes, you swept the floor, you cleared the table, insisting that you were such a great cleaner. And Shani must not get off the couch. Our children, we are so good children. They cherish your visits. You always strategize giving the gifts so they wouldn't argue over them. Your memory and attention to detail made you an ideal chavusa for me. Our learning was so enjoyable that it didn't feel difficult to break our heads over a tesis. We had our private kiddush every Shabbos and slowly we roped you into joining us for more and more activities, more and more parties, more and more nights out. Family. We said many things about our life. You prefer to keep things quiet and private. I tried. I did my best. Every now and again, I got something out of you. Your care, your advice, your listening ear will be sorely missed. Eventually, I pulled a few stories out of you about the intelligence unit which you served in the Army, the early days in Australia, the ski trip that was the swim trip, the hard, lonely times. And I got to know many of your friends, many of the people who spoke here tonight. I feel like I know them. I heard all about you. Through the great stories that you shared about them. I knew about the barbecues. I know about slipping out. So many of the families that were privileged to have you before I got that privilege this last few years. It was devastating. I've never cried so much in my life. I've never had so much pain. I'm not sure. My mother just died. You were with me throughout the whole year, learning the Glenda Shama, encouraging me to say college, always telling me what a great dominating it was today. I davened every day. What a great time. Today was extra special. Today was really good. Just this time, she made a deal with Shani that you were going to do something. You were pushing off. That you were avoiding. If she went back to finish her degree, we'll never know what it was. Always so private. Helpful, encouraging. To say that you are our hidden ace in the hall when it came to Shalom Bias would not be an exaggeration. Somehow appearing. Abal Kore, such a pleasure to listen to. Such great diction, sweet tune, such a yakka. Love to sing the Yakisha, old Yakisha Nagunim. He would sit at my Shabbos table. And say, where did you hear that tune? How do you know that tune? I said, I don't know. It's my father. He said, that's an old tune. A walking safer Torah, full of life, always ready for a good var, a good word, a good piece of Torah, a good sharing. We love to sing together, and your singing was not only sweet, but your tempo always kept me on track. Much like our time together, I was always pushing our boundaries. And you liked keeping me in line. We argued about things, sometimes fiercely, but you always chose to keep things light, never to get too excited into the argument. You always had a way of calming me down. We did birthdays together and loved the fine dining at Al Dente and all the other favorite places around town. Your Mithras Taylor is truly a sensitive soul. You knew how to be sensitive to others because you were so sensitive. You were so sweet, and you knew how to be sweet to others. You knew what people needed. Giving stuff discreetly and with honor, such a mensch. Just to tell you another anecdote, during Corona, everyone wasn't giving stuff. It was weird. Right? You were getting, used to giving, if you, you know the Shari Kesach people up in the neighborhood, you're used to giving a shekel for each person. You line them up on your table so you don't have to always reach over. People take and take and take. It's like, you give like 15, 20 shekel a day. Sometimes you, you know, you give 10, you run out, you run out. But the other didn't want to. I, 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 I knew him as Dave, but I eventually I told my kids, this is, this is, we got to call him Rav David. This is too much. He's not Dave, he's Rav David. Rav David, he was, he didn't want to start giving out stuff when he got back into shul because he didn't want to start 
handling money and, and, and then brushing up against people. He wanted to keep safe. He wanted to keep healthy. He was so into keeping healthy. He was so good at it. He ate healthy mostly, except when he wasn't in not turnover and cheesecake and the rest of it. I can tell. Um, just yesterday, had the stories. Always with the stories. So what did he do? He prepared envelopes. Every three months, he would give to every single collector that was on the rack. It was on the was, that we were used to, you know, giving to, and he would give them. This is for the last three months that I didn't give you. He saved up the money, put it all in, go to the bank, get all the cash, put it in the envelopes, and it was a riot because before you knew it, half of the city was coming to the shul from Sarasca, from here, and he would ask them, "How did you hear about this?" He said, "My friends told me." So he started telling the chaper. So listen, this is for the regular chaper. Don't tell your friends. It's getting out of control. I only have so many envelopes. <laughs> so, so eventually, this is not going to tell people, okay? And he did it. Always with his always with the envelope, always with the chupad. Didn't matter what the guy looked like. It was the same sparkle in his eyes. Always had a sparkle in his eyes. This time was no exception. Guess what? Finally, you know, people started coming. He's not here. He said, no, 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 it's every three months. He had to tell them. He had to, like, help direct them every three months. The next time he's going to be where he's going to see A few days ago, they started giving out the envelopes. They say, what's going on? And Rosh Hashanah said, you know, I thought it's fun a little You know, with his the way he always had his break, little dance whenever he spoke. He started giving them out early. Yesterday, he gave out his last envelope. Because after all the envelopes were finished, there were still a few hundred checkout bills in there. And this past three months, he comes in. I was always pushing him to give stuff. I was always a nudnik. I was going to give to all my friends. He said, so to other people, I would give it. I used to nudge him all the time. What about that guy? What about this guy needs a new pair of stuff? And I was a little relentless with him. Every now and again, I got him to, to give more. He liked it. It was a fun kibitz we used to have. I'm like, come on. So people came in when there were no more envelopes. And he had a few hundred shekel bills still. He said, no, but at this time I'm giving everybody a raise. This month, he decided, this time I'm giving everybody a raise. Instead of 180 shekels a person, I'm going to give 200 shekels a person. Okay, great idea. I was always excited when he was giving raises out. The last day there was a very fresh left a Bashola, whatever you call him, collector who came in. Dave and I are learning, like usual, we're learning. Right away, I see this guy, he's here every day. I'm like Dave, pull it up. This guy's for sure here. It's like, all uh, right, he doesn't look up. We're learning, we're learning. The guy's so polite, doesn't want to interrupt our learning. So he's sitting there five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's like, Dave, he's He's not going. You, you, you got to get up from the table and pretend. Say, okay, I'll go up. I'll pretend I'm going to fill my cup of tea. And then, you know, I won't be learning. So then he'll come over to me. Sure enough, he came over to him. Same conversation. How'd you hear about it? Oh, a friend, a friend. Okay. I have one hundred check old bill left. No more envelopes. He gave it to him. And we sat there and we continued learning. And that was the end of his, his envelopes. for Kodesh Sivan. Lately, he was dreaming about Kisari a lot. <laughs> he wanted to tell me another amazing chat, another amazing piece of diktuk, which I was lousy at, my great yeshiva education. And this was something that he thrived. He loved teaching me diktuk. And I said, you know, really? You should be giving a shear. He said, yeah, maybe we'll go to Kisari. And he said, he said about you, he said, you'll, you'll be the rabbi. He was dreaming, you're dreaming. You'll, you'll give the shear. And because we sit in your chair every day by proxy, doing the same basement, so oh, you share, and you'll, you'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll make it fun, and 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 I'll give my share. I said, yeah, the old people love it. We'll go there, and he started dreaming about buying places in Casario, making it into an Airbnb, going there, making, making every second a good time. He always liked to have a good time. A good dream was almost as good as going there for day. A good idea, a good fantasy. Sorry if I'm being mad. I'm almost done. How did you manage to hide all that fact? How did you manage to hide 
your teeth love for Torah. Just walk around in your jogging pants. Where did you keep that encyclopedic knowledge of the written and spoken word? The answer is in your humble heart, always striving to learn more. Another sheer Nova Rusa. Get such cover to from all your teachers, relishing a good story of your Rashi Yeshiva, the Yeshiva days, all the time have come in, you came into contact with. You had such cover for your fellow man as well. You brought out the best in us. We will honor your memory and make sure to learn on the Neshama. Do good deeds, down for you. And we ask that you please ask Hashem and this was that all you have endured and persevered with such grace, amuna, and nobility to bring us from Hashem's Zikainu. Please forgive all of us, your extended family, if we didn't give you the proper cover or hurt you in any way. I love you and I'll miss you. Stand here in uh, complete disbelief. So I think I'll get my head around the fact that no longer with us. Well, this morning, no longer with us. You've been my, uh, my best friend for over 35 years. We have spent a tremendous amount of time together. Friendship, a bond which had uh, room, closeness, care, and space. We knew how to give people space. It was a remarkable thing. You knew when to be there, and you knew when you didn't have to be. You, over the years, have gathered around you many, many families who have embraced you, you have embraced them. This symbiotic love, I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Something very special. You might think it's a cloak and dagger, but it wasn't. It was just you being you. You also had tremendous reverence to your father, a childlike love of your mum, you cared concerned about, a deep, deep respect to your brother Philip, who did so and does so much, then for your mother and father, and now for your father, with endless love and commitment, and a sneaking regard for Josh, who had a side in which, kind of a naughty side, which you didn't really have to, you, but you, you got it. You loved him for it. So my kids would say, so Abba, are you meeting Dej today? I would say, probably, yes. We meet all the time. And as Roish Lamar said, they'd say, well, well, what do you talk about all the time? And I said, well, we, we simply repeat. What do you mean you repeat? We, we repeat, we talk about the same old things time and time again. And there was such a beauty to it. I, I couldn't get enough. Nor could he. And we knew we were going to repeat. There was nothing new to talk about. And it was warm. And it was caring. Almost impossible to think of that's no longer 
going to be. Stage. You were behind a multifaceted person. And so you could relate to so many different kinds of people. It didn't matter what walk of life they came from. You had your own beliefs, your own thoughts, your own opinions. But you could still embrace anybody from any walk of life. And I personally watched how you engage with my children. It was something which was so natural, so loving, so giving. So when I say that you should be a maid, it's your share. I really think that you can be. Because you could and would relate to everybody wherever they were in their lives. You weren't judgmental. You just got straight into the groove with whoever that person was. And that was something quite remarkable. And what I think we can take away from you is the repeat, actually. You were a bit of you were a master of repeat. And you, in fact, created your life out of repeat. And sometimes you think, well, repeating can be boring. You know, you just do the same thing time and time again. But there is a great depth to repeat. I see you every time. And that is what I hope for all of us here. Take away from Dage to make the most of everything. He did. He certainly knew what his game was, and he made the most of it. So, Dage, we would all, I speak for everybody here, we would all miss you very, very much. No, I. A Fabia Ben Mahana de Lumeri Stater Bishkoshat, Vivera Tabali de Abeba, Da Mea in Bataulana Taule, Nemia Tati, and Tibet is born, Mea in Batam, Panana Taule, and Komapar in Abitulia.
שקשה לו ללכת, לא לנסוע אחרינו, אנחנו חולים בתפיס ימינה, חולים בגבעה השנייה, זה המקום שהוא חולים. זה נראים מוכרים ומתקפים במקביעה. שינינו המדינאי, ראינו I'm going to shut off now, but I'll put it back on when we get to the kever.